Let's see if I hate myself. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamika, this is Library of Tomes where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life. Today is the start of a new vlog where I am going to be giving Penelope Douglas another shot. We will see how I feel about her and other books that she has written. I adored Birthday Girl, I hated Credence. I do own a copy of, of uh, Punk 57, which I do want to read. This is a bully romance about um Misha and Ryan they got their names mixed up in like a pen pal situation they are they're the opposite gender so one's a boy one's a girl and they were pen pals one of them ends up going to the other school doesn't like how the girl acts and then bullies her for it this is a high school dark romance we'll see how I feel about it we'll see what happens I I'm gonna listen to the audiobook and read through this. Uh, I probably won't read this physical copy, but I will be reading the book. So we'll see how I feel about it. I will give you all my updates as I can. We'll see. I'm worried that I'm not gonna like Penelope Douglas. So we'll see what I do. We'll see how I feel and we'll circle back and we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so two chapters into Punk 57 and I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel, but we're gonna go to sleep, and I'll let you know in the in the morning probably. Um, I'm not super in love with Ryan yet. She's kind of like meh. I don't know. I don't know how she never looked up Misha. I'm just kind of like, how do you not know who that is? Because like right now, she um she doesn't know who he is, and he knows who she is, so. I don't know, you can hear Megan, so I'm gonna hop off here and go to bed. I don't currently have my camera with me, so I'm filming this update because I'm in love with Misha. I don't know how in the world I'm in love with him. He is cruel and I love everything about him. I don't understand his motivation yet of why he's so mean to, um, Ryan, don't understand that part, but I, I love him. So that's where we are. I'm in love with him. Like the moment, like, so like within like the first like three to like six chapters, he literally leans over and like pulls her into his lap and like licks her throat and says that she tastes like shit. And I'm like, Not mad. Not mad about it. I love him. He's fantastic. Already we have uh, triggers for loss of a loved one, um, grief, so like death of a sibling, uh, death of a family member. Um, lots of grief in here. Lots and lots of grief. So I'm going to try not to finish this before I get home because I can't really update you at work and I only have like an hour and 50 minutes left on the audiobook. Um, like that's like the listening speed. So I'm gonna try to listen to a different book and I will, this person is staring at me. They're like, why are you on your phone? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try to listen to the other book so that I don't finish this one before I get home, but we'll see what happens. Hi, I'm currently editing a thumbnail for tomorrow and I wanted to give you a final update on me reading Penelope Douglas uh, for a second time, so giving her a second chance. So I finished Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas and I wanted to come back here and just wrap my thoughts up for you. And I wanted to go over it and kind of figure out, uh, I feel like what went wrong in Credence and like how I feel now. So Punk 57 is a bully romance that follows Ryan and Misha and they are pen pals because their names are Misha and Ryan and the teachers think that they are one is a boy and one's a girl like and they get genders flipped on both sides of the school so um they end up becoming each other's pen pals and they end up staying pen pals and continuing to have this pen pal relationship and this very close friendship and they are not they don't want to look each other up on facebook or any other social media and they don't want to um meet in person because they don't want to ruin this idea of what they have of each other in their head. So 
what ends up happening is Misha ends up meeting Ryan and she has no idea. She has no idea that Ryan, he is Misha. He comes to her school under the name of Mason and he realizes that she is not the person that she has portrayed herself to be. She is much more of the mean girl who she always talked about how she didn't like and how she didn't want to be like those girls and it was very much a um she was not who she portrayed herself to be and he did not like that about her and he felt very betrayed because he felt like the person that he was communicating with was not the same person that ryan actually was in real life for me i think the difference here let me just go ahead and like put the suspense out of the way i was genuinely surprised that i enjoyed this i didn't i don't want to say that i went into this book thinking I wouldn't like it. I didn't anticipate enjoying this story because it was a high school book for one and after the way that I hated Credence, I just did not anticipate that any book by Penelope Douglas would be able to hold my attention essentially. So I think that for that alone, this book did really really well the fact that i was able to really enjoy this and like i did i had minimal problems with it I, I i said in that video when i reviewed credence that i did not think that i would read another book by penelope douglas and until i read this book i would have stood by that i genuinely thought that there's no way that this woman who wrote birthday girl that i loved wrote this other book and I stand by it. I think she's just that was just an off book because I really really loved Punk 57. Did I have issues with it? I absolutely had issues with it. I had issues with the way that these characters handled certain things. I did not like the excessive use of trauma. Um, kind of a, a similar issue that I had with the uh first book that i read credence i didn't feel like the trauma was just in there for trauma at this point though it, it felt like it, it did feel like penelope douglas said i'm gonna write this book let me add a little bit of spice to these characters backstories and added in a bunch of trauma um i don't think that it was done as poorly as it was in credence but it was definitely something that i noticed and something that really caught my attention in this read through of this like I definitely paid attention to the trauma and I have had people tell me that they agree with me on that and they do think that Penelope Douglas has a lot of trauma for the sake of trauma in her book I I do think that that was one of the faults of this book is I felt like the trauma was a little too much like it was a little too convenient of like let's have this extra trauma just to give our characters a little more depth instead of giving them depth based on like anything else I felt like she could have gave them more um more character flaws or something that's not trauma to give more depth to the characters other than that i did really really enjoy it did i love the relationship absolutely i loved our hero i loved misha he was absolutely phenomenal i loved how cruel he was i loved how he was with her and i just i loved everything about the way that he acted toward her the third the third act breakup made perfect sense like the reason they were angry at each other you saw it coming a mile away but it still worked it still made sense for the two characters it, i just felt like almost everything in this worked very very well i didn't mind the fact that they were in high school because they were 18 they were they were of age and i really just loved their dynamic i felt like he had a reason behind why he was mean to her and i it was just a really good story and i really enjoyed it what do i think was different here i felt like penelope douglas didn't focus on building up two relationships that didn't go anywhere and actually developed a relationship between the two characters that were going to be together i think that was the biggest downfall of credence is she did not have any character development for the relationship between the one she ends up being with and in this book we are so focused on the relationship that 
uh, Ryan has with Misha because that's the only love interest we have. Well, I mean, she technically does cheat on her boyfriend, but he's not her boyfriend. He's just her prom date. Um, and there's a lot of cheating in here. I, I just really enjoyed this story and I really liked it. I definitely want to read more bully romances. I have read some in the past and I haven't loved them, but this one has made me think that maybe I would be interested in reading more bully romances in the future and seeing what kinds I actually like. Because I do think I fall in the camp of I like bully romances when there is a reason for the bullying to happen. I don't want it to be like, I just don't like you um, and I'm going to be mean to you because I have a crush on you or I'm going to be mean to you because I'm bored. Um, I think with like, if there's an actual reason for, for them to be bullying the other one, I think that's when I can get on board with it. And I'm very excited to see uh, how I feel about the rest of Penelope Douglas's books. If you want me to do more reading vlogs, specifically reading the Penelope Douglas books that I have left on my TBR, let me know down in the comments. I will definitely try to do that if that's something that you're interested in seeing. I, I am very, I'm, I'm very open to her books now. I definitely think the next one I want to read will be the Devil's Night series and then I'll probably read uh, tr uh, Tristix Venom. I think that's what it's called or Tristix Venom. Um, the female female one she just wrote. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. If you're still here and you're still watching the video go ahead and leave me an alien emoji down in the comments and I will chat with y'all in my next video. Bye everyone.